Hey everybody, it's James with Cold School again, and I've um, got another package that I'm going to open real quick. Uh, a little unboxing here, not sure which is the best side to cut this on. I think right here will work. We're going to make a quick cut and try not to injure myself. There we go. Alright, what do we got here? I think these are radiators. If I'm not mistaken. Let's see here. Yeah, I think so. The one hand, yeah, these are, uh, now, I guess I ordered more than I thought. I thought I ordered two. I guess I ordered four. There's more stuff in there, so I must have ordered four instead of two. I'm still uh, building a miniature model AC. Sorry for the noise. All right. Happy Amazon, smiley face. So these are radiators. These are the smaller ones. These aren't the heater cores out of an automobile. These are PC radiators. And let's see if I got that. There we go. We'll have to cut the sides. Yeah. Well, actually, there we go. Yeah, there's the picture of the radiator, I guess. So. Let's get that cut real quick. And there is some important differences in these radiators, and I'll make some videos about that as well. There's some, uh, I guess I'll mention it in this video, give you a little uh, idea. If you watch any of my videos where I make the small uh, ice chest AC, the little bitty nine quart blue and turquoise and red, the little ones, uh, there's a, depending on the design that you want to use, there's a real notable difference and I'll, I'll do a comparison video with the radiator uh, so okay I think this is an 18 pipe uh, radiator PC what you doing girl what you doing key uh, so two big differences so the other one two let me put it this way this is an 18 pipe these vertical pipes or tubes and the other one has 12. She loves cardboard boxes. What you doing, sweetie? But uh, the two big differences on design is these. Let's put that here. Put it right there. The distance between these two and the position, the orientation on the top tank is different than the 12 pipe. The 12 pipe tubes are farther out. They're out here and out here so if you put those on the back of course I got the wrong not the wrong but I've got the vertical air box here so when you do them side that ain't gonna help the camera is it well I guess it might so if, well I guess it'd be this way with the <laughs> with the uh, speed control so if you put them sideways on the small portable ice chest I mean air box on the back of these the width between here and here, these with the tubes being like that, will fit inside the box. But the other ones with the 12 pipes, when they're spread farther out like that, of course I'm going out of focus, there we go, they, they're too wide to fit inside the box. So what you could do is turn them around backwards and run your tubing on the outside instead of stealth through the inside of the box. So that's one big difference. Another big difference is when you put them side by side on the air box that's sideways. The 12 pipe uh, radiators. So you can see how this is flush. The other one has a where they bend the metal together. Well, it's like a clamp and it sticks out here about maybe three sixteenths of an inch. Not quite. Maybe an eighth of an inch. And when you put these together, like here's, if my finger was the other one and you put them side by side, these will fit flush. The other one, 
has the bracket sticking out about 3 16 to an eighth of an inch. So if you put them side by side, those two brackets hit, and it puts air space in between here and the other one, which you'd have to seal. But not only that, uh, with the width and the spread orientation of the uh, intake and, the, and output of the other tanks, the 12 pipe tanks, um, you'd have to set one higher than the other you know it's one here and then one a little higher to where they'd overlap and they'd get closer so i'll make a video on that it's just a design issue in case you want to put them flush side by side or on some of my uh, nine quart small cooler acs you notice one's on one side and one's on the other or one's on one side and on the end or something like that but if you want them both and that's if you're using the ice chest for the air box split ice container together but if you do the air box on top with the box sideways you want to use these because these tubes will fit inside that box and uh, so I'll give you a better it's a sideways but so you're gonna put them like uh, like this on the back side by side but on, on the back side so it's kind of hard to tell but anyway uh, you'll notice if you watch the other video with the air box that I've done this week and today is June 30th 2021 so this week I've made videos on the nine quart miniature uh, portable AC so the ones with the air box on top you want to use these if you use that particular box for the air box so these will fit side by side it just you'll look at like i said the design you look right here there's a little bracket that, not a bracket but a piece of folded metal that keeps the parts together so i just wanted to make that uh known because that's a pretty big deal they're all pretty nice so using this two of these uh for in the place of one heater core that I use on this off an automobile. I think it's an old Ford truck. I'll give y'all uh, numbers and links uh, down the road here, make it a little easier. Uh, but anyway, so that's the little package we got today, or yesterday, and I, for a little unboxing, but that's real important. These are pretty nice. They're, they're all nice. Most stuff I get on uh, online is really nice. So I'll put a link of that and all this stuff in the description. Y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.